Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial in the Cocos TDX C++ physics series. This part we'll be looking at adding a circular sprite physics body. We'll be using the source code from tutorial 3. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code. So, we're going to be looking at creating a circular physics body for a sprite and adding it to the sprite as well and adding that to the scene. So let's go ahead and open up our project. Okay, so what we're going to do, below where we added the edge node, we're going to create a sprite, so auto sprite equals sprite. Note, obviously, if you need to manipulate the sprite later on, you will want to declare this in the header, and then just initialize it here, but this is just for the purpose of this tutorial. We already have this image called close normal.png. But you can use whatever you want. We've got this sprite set position, and we're just going to center the sprite. So we're going to do visible size dot width divided by two plus origin dot x visible size dot height divided by two plus origin dot y. Next thing we're going to do is create our sprite body, aka the physics body. So we're going to do equal physics body colon colon create circle. And now we just specify the radius of the circle. So an easy way to do that is the sprite name, get content size dot width, and just divide that, that by two, and we get the radius. Sorry about that. Every little device starts going off when a notification occurs. And uh, so what we were we doing? Okay, yeah. Next thing we're gonna do is set the physics material. And if you look here, we use the physics body material default, but we're just gonna show you how to explicitly set it now. So what you do is physics material. Open close bracket and now you specify the three parameters. Let's just go over what they were quickly. So jump to definition. Jump to definition. So you specify the density, restitution, and friction. We're going to put 0, 1, and 0. Semicolon. The next step is to actually assign this sprite physics body to the sprite. So we do sprite set physics body and in here we just specify our physics body. So sprite body. Finally we're just going to add add the sprite to the layer. So we don't need to add the sprite body because it's already been attached to the sprite itself. And now what we're gonna do is just run this. And one thing I just noticed, my bad, I opened it up in Xcode beta and I found it doesn't work in there. So let me quickly open it up in stable version and now let's run this. At the moment, gravity is enabled. We'll show you how to disable gravity as well so you can see that the sprite will remain where it is unless some sort of force is applied to it. I'll just take this time to say thank you for all the support, for all the views and for all the subscriptions and all the follows on Twitter and all the likes on all the other good stuff and if you do have any requests for tutorials as usual just email us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk and even if we can't create a video tutorial we will respond, we will try and help you in some form so just ask away and we will try and help mm. sorry about that just a little alarm on the phone
Okie dokie, so now that it's running, we have the physics sprite right here and it's falling down and it is bouncing. And we have the edge box, and you might be looking, this is in a circle, and pretty much nothing in real life is round, it's all straight lines, but there's just a lot of straight lines to make it look circular or rounded. So, basically, you can use this and this will provide the sort of result that you want in game because like I mentioned previously you will disable all of these anyway so let's just finally show you how to disable gravity what you need to do is go up here and do scene get physics world set gravity do that and in here we simply specify the gravity that we want in the x and the y axis and for that we're just gonna should be vec vec2 I believe vec works as well now we're just gonna put zero and zero because we want zero gravity Yeah, there you go, uh, there's no gravity now, and we have a circular sprite physics body. That's it for this tutorial. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at how to add a rectangular sprite physics body. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at somnasystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.